Stepping off a helicopter in Thailand, walking into a temple and seeing the decomposing bodies of three and a half thousand people isn't something I expected to do when I joined the police back in 1986. I remember sitting with one of Australia's leading forensic pathologists. He said to me, Pete, I think all we can do here is a token effort, just because of the scale. But 12 months on, it was anything but a token effort. We identified over 5,000 bodies and returned them to their families so that they could be buried. We couldn't change what had happened. These families had lost their loved ones, but we could give them the answers. Leaving the police was a, a big change to my life, but there was another one to come. From a small spot on my leg, I found out I'd been diagnosed with cancer, and, and it threw my financial affairs into a disarray. I was lucky. I had formed a friendship with my advisor, Lee Virgin from Hill Rocks, and he just took all that worry away from me. It's over now, and I don't worry about the health anymore, and of course, with what Pete's done, I certainly don't worry about my finances. What it's given me is the option to travel to Thailand whenever I see the need. It's given me the option to spend my time working to support the kids. When I met them, they were living in a tent. It felt like I could change something for them, and I had no idea how I was going to do it. But I returned to Australia with a commitment to do something, and it was that time I set up a charity called Hands Across the Water. Now it's a project which has raised over $7 million. Right now we've got seven different projects across Thailand. The thing that I'm most proudest of is a project we took on almost three years ago. But I had a conversation. It was from a, a lady who ran an orphanage for HIV children. And what I saw were children who were sick and they were dying on not just a monthly basis, but a weekly basis. The leading cause of death in Thailand is HIV related illness. So we decided to support them and in that time, not one child has died at that centre. And for me, that's the thing I love. The work that I do, and in particular these bike rides that I lead through Thailand every January, where we ride 800 kilometres from Bangkok down to that orphanage. That's food for my soul. And it doesn't mean that you have to ride bikes. It doesn't mean you have to get involved in our renovation projects. If you want to learn to play a musical instrument, to trek through Nepal, or travel to Paris with the person that means most to you, now's the time to do it. If not now, then when? If not you, then who? So when I think about financial freedom, for me, it's very clear that means choice.